What's up, Soul Squad? What's up, my Soul Squad? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my kitchen. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy everything you see on my shorts, on my videos. I hope you just enjoy this Soul Petite channel, period. Okay, so welcome to my kitchen. Before we get started, well, you sort of thumbnail. You know we're working with. We doing some beef stew, some rice, and homemade cornbread. All right, so I started off with these um chuck rolls because I didn't have any stew beef at the store at the time. And then I was like, do I want to make pot rolls? I said, you know what? It is cold outside, like it's Chicago in DC. Okay, so we're gonna warm that body up. But before we get started cutting up these chuck rolls, guys. What we do, Soul Squad? Hit that intro! I wish I had my kitchen shit. I done had so many, so many kitchen shears to leave my kitchen, y'all. It don't make no sense. So I'm using this serrated bread knife because for me, it's going to be easier to cut with. And I'm just going to, I'm going to cut in slices before I cut in squares. This is a pretty bit, pretty. Look at this beef. Look at that. Nice beef. Pretty vibrant and red. And you guys, you know I ain't gonna let you watch me cut. I got two of them to cut up. But we're gonna get started taking some of this fat off here. And I just cannot find scissors at all. But I'm gonna be cutting them in about this, about this big. A nice size, a good portion size in your stew. I don't want to make the video too long. We're going to get this beef cut up. It is, again, there's an easier way to make this beef stew. You can buy stew beef. If you can find it in the stores these days, let's get that fat off of there. Let's see, cut the fat off. If you can find them in the store. You know, these days, everything's just so hard to really find in the store so i uh, wanted my kitchen shears because it'd be easier to cut and not really you know messing my beef up tearing it into it so but this is a good knife and you know i got play operation meat cutter you know But she's coming apart really, really well. Look at that. Nice chunk of beef. There's a lot of fat that I'm going to get. See all this fat right here? Get rid of all this fat. I'm not going to be using all of that. So a lot of that going to be getting cut around. So it's cutting pretty smooth. Nice tender um, chuck rolls here. Right, so I know with the kitchen with the um with the um scissors, kitchen shears, it would just cut more quicker and more faster than what I could do. You know? But it's coming along. So I got two of these to cut up, and I'll be back when I'm all done. So let's go on. I was like, I had to show this. Look at all this fat on this chuck roast, man. This is why I need my scissors. Yes, this is still the same one, y'all. All right, that came off. But, but I don't want none of that. Look at that. Lots and lots of fat. You know, fat, some fat is good. Like, I would when I, if I was making the roast roast, 
in the oven, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even bother with this. I would leave the fat on because some fat is good on meat. And it's good to have some fat on meat. But since I'm making a beef stew, I got to cut off as much of this fat off that I could get off. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all got to check out that Jello cream cheese um, strawberry cake. Look at all that. Man, I ain't going to lie. I just ate a piece before I got online, before I got over here. Let me just tell you, once that cream cheese pudding, I never had that before. So like I said, if you make that recipe, you can make your own um, no-baked cream cheese filling. But... Yeah, you know, we trying to get out there for people who don't really like to cook or do a lot of stuff homemade. I'm cutting this fat off, y'all. I'm telling you, once that thing settles overnight with the um look at all that fat. With oh with the um cream cheese, honey. That thing good. <laughs> I just had a piece. Michael said you cutting that for us. I want a piece of this um cake sitting here. I ain't had no breakfast yet, and I know that's not good to say that. I ain't had no breakfast, but I'm going to eat cake, right? <laughs> and y'all know, y'all haven't seen the cake on my channel in a long time. Why? Because I told you guys, I'm addicted to cake. I love a good cake. So, that's a piece of fat I know I could get off. I just, I'm going to invest in some more kitchen shears. And I keep saying I'm hiding, y'all. This is still the same piece of meat. I haven't, and I'm using the knife with the ridges because it's one of the sharpest knives I have. Oh, but I should use, I should have tried my paring knife to cut these, um, and you know, with the arthritis, I can't hold my knives for a certain way. So, I think, look, all this, this, this pile of fat right there, I got all the fat off as much as I can using this knife. And the rest of this, I'm just going to cut up. I want to try to get this piece off. And not really taking away any meat. So when I bought this, I didn't, uh, uh, um, I didn't buy this to make stew with. I bought it to make me two pot roasters. But it's cold outside, baby. And this is a good pot roast. Very very bright, very good quality meat. I'm loving it. All right, next time we come back, we will be finished. Hey, y'all, look at this. Uh -uh. Oh, that's, that's two roast chuck roasters. And look at all this fat. I peeled and cut off with this knife. All that fat. So we're going to do them and wash my hands. I've been rinsed my roasters off before I got started. So I'm going to wash my hands. We're going to season the roast. Y'all, I just found out I don't have any onions. Again, I'm not going to grocery store. So sure. sure. This roast, this beef stew is going to be whatever I find in my refrigerator. I have to go grocery shopping. And I wanted to do a Sunday dinner. And I was like, I know I got something here to do something with. So I found some chuck roast. I, I found some carrots. I found some peas of corn. I got some potatoes, but I don't know. I don't know, but I had. I got a um, a thing of beef broth. All that told me. Okay, no celery, no onion, but I can still do a beef stew. Found the bag of rice. I got a new rice maker, and then I got um sofa tea cornbread mix. I'm like, you know what? No, no pearl onions, no regular onions, and no um, celery. But guess what? My kitchen my way, your kitchen your way. It may be missing two things, but we still going to make this beef stew. It's cold outside, okay? We're going to make this beef stew work on this Sunday. Okay, guys. So, this is the beef chunks. Now, I'm going to name my seasoning. I use powder stuff. But this is garlic powder. I got a little bit in here. So guess what? It's all going there. I got to find some more. I'm using a little bit of seasoned salt just because my mama would kill me if I didn't. It ain't much of that in here either. Shoot. That's all of that. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, I got to go to the grocery store. So I'm complete. I had to go to the grocery store. 
I don't have no seasonings. Your girl don't have nothing. This is onion powder. And we're going to mix it. Now, I ain't into all that. So I say frying. And um, I use some thyme too. I ain't into all that. Frying my, um, there's some thyme in there. I ain't into all that frying my beef. That's not how it works over here in this kitchen. I'm baking it on, and I, and you know, we used to cook it in a slow cooker. I don't have one. Gotta get another one. And then go use some pepper. And I'm gonna go in with my hands. And what we gonna do, I got the um, stove on. I'm not frying anything. We're just gonna go ahead and massage all these seasonings into this meat. Because it's going in my pan with water and broth. It's just less simple, people. Water and broth. And then we'll wash my hands off. Because after the water and broth, after I season all this, this meat, I mean, I'm about to um, sprinkle some flour on here. Let me wash my hands. All right, guys, we back. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of flour. Listen, why? If you're not frying it, I do flour on it because it's going to help um, make it thick. It's going to help it more gravy-like. Yeah. And it's not that much. And at this point, if you have your onions, this is where you put your onions in at. So that's all the flour I want on here. Let me go wash my hands one more time. All right, guys, we're back. I escaped the basement. You know what? My beef stock. And you have your onions and stuff. Put your pearl onions or your regular onions. I can't get my beef stock over here. I'm going to put the top on this, y'all. And let this just cook. Y'all just don't know. Now I'm going under y'all. I'm covering my meat. That's it, people. That's it for me. I'm gonna put my top on here because I don't got the top is over there. Put the top on here, got this on medium low. I'm gonna let this meat this ball to the rice cook. The, the flour gonna make it thicken up. We're gonna add in our carrots, our potatoes, our peas, and corn. Baby, stop playing. It's cold outside. Y'all, when I say a person got to go to the grocery store, man, I only have one, two, three, four, five, six potatoes. When I tell y'all, I'm making this beef stew work. <laughs> yeah, I am making it work with no food, no ingredients, no size, no nothing. I'm doing mine with the skin on. I said, I knew I had at least a half a bag of potatoes. Y'all. I'm gonna wash these potatoes up. I'm telling you, who, 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 who makes it work, y'all? Cause I'm telling you, I, I gotta make it work. I got six potatoes. I 
I was like, no, 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 no. So I'm cutting potatoes up, y'all. I have really, the grocery store is really calling it. This is the first time I really saw the bottom of my deep freezer. I went up to go look for some peas and corn. So I found a bag of peas. And I found a bag of peas and corn. Then I found a bag of carrots. So I'm just like, y'all. <laughs> the refrigerator is pulling it together, okay? It is pulling it together. Everything in this beef stew is limited. But I'm going to make it work, sister. So it's going to work. Guess what? They gonna have some full bellies. That's all I can say. I, I, I make it work. So let me wash off these um potatoes there. Put the skin, skin on. I like the skin on. Let's work for me. I'm not even gonna chop these carrots because I hate chopping whole carrots. I'm gonna wash off my. But I'm not even gonna use these peas and carrots. I'm gonna say those for something because I got this bag of peas and I got these carrots. I'm gonna say these peas and carrots are something else. But I'm gonna wash off the carrots. Wash off the um, potatoes, and we're going to place them in our um, pot, and we'll be back. All right, guys. And I tell you, everything's coming along good. Look at that. Look at that V. Okay. Honey, let me tell y'all. I'm making this work for the family today. Oh, two cars hit the floor. I get those. We gonna let this what cook. We're going to put some peas in here. We're going to let these carrots and potatoes cook first. Honey, that is looking good. I'm going to add a little bit of this complete seasoning. I taste a piece of that meat. Everything is so flavorful. You hear me? Put this top back on here. And we're going to move on to our next step. We're going to do this cornbread. All right, y'all. Everything is done. Not everything. I just put the rice on. Y'all see me do rice before. Um, two cups of um, two cups of um, what's this I call? Rice. Four cups of water. My potatoes is done. Look at that. So what I'm about to do? Damn, this is so nice and hearty. Look at this beast too. I'm gonna put a little slurry in there. But what I'm about to do now is throw some peas in there. Because they frozen peas. Just to get us a little bit of greenery. Not a whole lot. My family peas don't get down. But they still frozen. There y'all. Do what y'all want to y'all. I'm doing what I want to mine. It make me a slurry. We're gonna get this nice and thick. Okay. Y'all, it's cold outside. They about to eat good tonight on a Sunday. Okay, guys. So, I'm going in with my slurry because I want to make it nice and thick. That's gonna get it nice and thick. Mmm. It's so flavorful and seasoned. Yeah. The rice is cooking. This is cooking. Letting the peas cook. Let that get thick. Chop going back on there. Just like that. Okay, guys, we're going to make some cornbread. I got my oven at 375. And I'm going to stick a whole stick of butter in this pan. And I'm going to put it in the oven. So it can melt. Huh, Jackson, where's this great bowl out? 
Well, I stuck my soup spoon in there. So it can melt. While that's melting, we're gonna mix up the cornbread mix. All right, guys. I got my cornbread mix. Got my butter cooking. recording the other people names now how much sugar you want in your cornbread it's up to you but I put about a one fourth cup of sugar let me get my milk I be stew is ready I eyeball everything y'all Oh, y'all, and this is homemade cornbread. This is not a box cornbread. I mix my own cornbread. But this is actually cornmeal. Everything, all the works are here. This is not a box cornbread. I go for my butter to melt. For well, my butter melting, we will stir. Well, I want my eggs to get cooked. All right, tell you, Mom. I don't care. Oh, All right, guys. My butter has melted in my pan like that. And I'm not going to pull all this butter into here. I'll pull a little bit. I'm going to save some for the edges and the ridges of my pan. I normally use my iron skillet, but you know what? I was like, no, you're doing good. I ain't trying, I ain't trying to have a whole lot of dishes. Not a whole lot of dishes. No. That's not good either. Let's cook on 375. I ready, boy. I need to side. A little bit of butter. I got nothing here. I'm just gonna go around the edge and just to make sure the bottom don't get stuck. That's burnt. The butter started to burn in the pan. We're gonna coat this bottom and the sides real good. In the oven. 375. Comment below what you guys cook for Sunday dinner. This is my first soup of the year. And I want to make some chicken noodle soup too. Yeah, I've got to show y'all my rice. Um, two cups of rice, four cups of water. Nice, fluffy white rice, y'all. All right, guys. My cornbread is out. That means. Sunday dinner is served. Oh, this cornbread smells buttery. I put a lot of butter on here. Probably too much butter. I don't know. Oh, it smells of butter. The butter make it taste better. All right, y'all. Everything is put together. Let's go ahead and make this plate. Okay, y'all. 
I put a, a little bit of rice. Because what this is all about? It's steamy. Buttery cornbread. Look at that stew. You see, it's cold outside, okay? I want y'all to like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified. Go check out my Soul for Tea vlogs. Go check out the Humble Spirit. Go check out the Cooking Guy. New Life Journey. Content by Leo. The Ron TV on Twitch. Y'all comment below what you guys have for Sunday dinner because, hey, we're toasty and warm up in this camp. And to my next video, Soul Squad, I am out. And I love you guys.